Kern County's HIV rates are on the rise, according to a report from the county's AIDS Advisory Board. The report was presented to supervisors this morning, explaining the current HIV and AIDS conditions in our community. 17's Anna Grazia joins us now with the details. And Tammy, this report showed how HIV incident rates from 2010 to 2014 increasing from previous years and AIDS incident rates decreasing. Local nonprofits in the Kern County Department of Public Health are working to help, help combat the problem with education. We loved him dearly. Mm -hmm. Audrey Chavez and Philip Castro look at pictures of people who lost the fight to HIV AIDS at Ricky's retreat in Bakersfield. Someone who knows someone who is HIV positive or who has died of AIDS and it's affected our whole entire community. Castro lost two uncles to AIDS, so now he has a mission. It's to educate everyone I can and to help everyone because I need to make sure that families don't have to go through what my family's been through and to make sure that I'm doing something in my uncle's honor. A grassroots effort by Castro despite the increasing HIV cases in Kern County. What we've been seeing over the last several years is an increase in new HIV cases. Director of Disease Control for the Kern County Department of Public Health, Denise Smith, says on average 100 cases of HIV are reported each year. She says most of them are intravenous drug users and people who have unprotected sex, both gay and heterosexual. And we're seeing increases in all of the age groups, but the one that is most alarming is the age group of the 14 to 19 year olds. Smith says lack of funding for education is just a small part of the problem. Teenagers don't really think AIDS still exists, and I'm here to tell you it does. It does still exist, and you can be at risk. President of Bakersfield's AIDS project, Audrey Chavez, agrees education is what will make a change. And with this upcoming week marking Kern County AIDS Compassion Week, the community can get involved. AIDS is everyone's disease. These are all of our families, all of our people, and it's about the humanity behind the statistics. So AIDS Compassion Week is a time for everyone to come forward and to participate. We have the full HIV AIDS report on our website, kerngoldenempire.com, which includes why more women are getting HIV. You'll also find details on the Kern County AIDS Compassion Week. In studio, Anna Grazia, 17 News. All right, and thank you. Citizen complaints have prompted the Kern County Grand Jury to launch an investigation of the Mountain Meadows Community Services District. The district maintains 27 miles of roadways, drop inlets, and posted signs in the Tatchby Mountains. The grand jury says its investigation has revealed many long-standing problems, including numerous questionable financial transactions by its board of directors. It also says the board has not met the requirements of government code and lacked authority to govern the district. Because of this, the Kern County Auditor Controller Clerk has ceased funding the district. If you'd like to read the grand jury's report, we have a link on our website, kerngoldenempire.com. Click on the hot link icon to find it. Kern